What's up, Aquariuses? This is West Coast Tarot back with your November love general reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this does not resonate with you, please know that this is a general reading and it is impossible for one spread to tell every Aquarius's love life. But I hope it does. And if it does, please give the video a like and subscribe. Or if you'd like a personal reading, the information is down below. Also, please know that sometimes spirit has messages for those who are in most need um, for their highest good. So if it wasn't for you, maybe next time, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. I am trying to pre-shuffle as I am a crazy shuffler and I might spend six, seven minutes shuffling sometimes. So I'm eliminating that and pre-shuffling now before my spreads. I'm going to see how this goes and I might go back to not doing that if it works, if if it's not viewed as good. So overall message, we are starting off November in our love life with victory and success, okay? So what have you been working on? What have you been up to? Well, whatever you have been putting work into, it's going to go your way, okay? What do sixes remind us of? Sixes remind us of all the self-sacrifice that we have um Oh, there I go again with saying, um, I'm trying to stop using filler words. I need to stop and pause. So sixes remind us of harmony. Sixes remind us of self-sacrifice and sacrifice that we had to put into a situation. Sixes represent loyalty. Okay. So just know that for the month of November or when this video finds you, you do have victory and success coming your way. Toot that horn. Okay. So let's start off with our overall story for the month of November. So we are coming out of a painful situation, ready to stop hurting. We are ready to start feeling good about ourselves. We are ready to start taking care of ourselves. We are feeling good. <laughs> then we also have Ace of Swords. Um, so this is success, victory, you know, something good com coming your way. It's crazy how I drew this together. So I feel like good luck is coming your way, okay? So let's dive deeper. So we're feeling good about ourselves. We have some good news coming in in regards to love. Some of you may have been involved with an Aries. However, um, this can be you or the person you are involved with. They are a nurturer, okay? Um, you could be a parent or they may be a parent. This is someone that is that does consider everything around them. And when they do make a choice, it's for the highest good, okay? So either you have been making choices and considerations or the person you're dealing with has. Um, but I feel like you're ready to make an offer in love because you desire a happy home life. Okay. You, you desire to have it all with this person. Um, you could be desiring a earth sign, but you are you are, you have, you, you are going to, you have been considering making an offer in love with this person. Um, and your overall goal is to have the happy home life. And you've contemplated this a lot. I feel like you've put your heart in this choice. Okay. Um, you've considered a lot. You've been, a lot's been weighing on you. Now, if that wasn't you, this is you, and this is the other person. Um, this person has been working on themselves, um, working on their, if not themselves, they're working on their finances and material things, but I feel like they have been working on their self. I strongly feel they're trying to put work into themselves. Um, there's been some past conflict, but I feel like they're not ready to give up, and if they are if they are, um, how do I say this? 
if they are choosing to move forward, it's without conflict, okay? So this person knows they're ready to fight again. They're ready to put in more work, okay? And they're working, work, 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 okay? So then we have the chariot. And this is moving forward, you know, moving past hurdles and obstacles, mm -hmm. moving past any past drama, anything like that. This person has been working on themselves. They're not ready to give up. And they do want to they do want to work through the past issues. They do want to get through any past drama. They do want to get over these obstacles. So obstacles, let's get into it. Um, we have the lovers. Oh, look at that glare. I hate that glare. We have the lovers and four swords. So you guys may have taken a break. During this break, you both were working on yourself. Okay. Um, you were, one party was trying to improve themselves. The other person was trying to consider, you know, what, it's the best choice in the matter. So I feel like this is for a partnership that has been on a break. But what puzzles me is the Gemini here. So why the Gemini, the lovers here. So why was that an obstacle? Did one of you stray from the relationship and move on with it with a one of you move on with a Gemini? Did one of you, you know, walk out on the relationship and cheat on the other with the Gemini? Did a Gemini get involved in the relationship? Was this just a break from the partnership? Or was um, there some infidelity here? So I do want to clarify, I know you guys were on a break um, or took some time away from each other, but what does boggle my mind is um, getting the lovers in my spreads optical position because I don't see that as a problem unless there was some infidelity but I I don't want to say I just don't feel negative energy right now with this spread so I don't want to say that was for sure sometimes if it was if it's a heavier spread I can always just say yeah that was it so let's clarify the lovers for my Aquariuses in the obstacle position please clarify the lovers Please clarify the lovers, the magician, okay, not just the magician, this is, this is upside down, so there could have been some deceitfulness, but I feel like this also can just strongly be, you know, not working, not putting in work in the relationship, and therefore, you know, deciding to take a break. Someone wasn't fully invested in this relationship for some of you. Um, oh, it's too many. I want to clarify again. Also, please clarify the lovers. One more card, please. Clarify the lovers for my lovely Aquariuses. Please clarify the lovers card. Too many. Please clarify the lovers. King of Cups. So one of you was not putting work into the situation and or and or not speaking up about how they truly feel. Okay, so different different storylines. So one person was not putting in the work and speaking up and saying how they feel and therefore this was put on a pause you guys may have quit talking to each other for a bit but it was an obstacle to achieve this because of lack of effort okay but all along i feel like even though the king of cups can be a coward at times he does know what his heart desires he does balance his emotions effectively he just doesn't like i said he's a coward he doesn't have a backbone he doesn't always speak up to express his love and one of you may perceive it as oh they're not putting work in they're not willing to fix this blah 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 but 
this was just a break period and I feel like both of you took this break to work on yourself and really consider everything all the in, all the time invested into this relationship okay how they view you Aquarius they they think highly of you okay and the reason I say that um, is because they see you as a queen of pentacle, okay? They see you as someone who is about their business. They know with you they can have a stable home life. Um, you take care of what needs to be taken care of. You know, you don't try to work. You don't really get involved with drama. You You just embody a very nurturing, kind soul, okay? That gets what needs to be done taken care of so they do hold you hold you in a high regard okay um it was just at one point i feel like you two straight apart but i don't see this um as a bad reading and i feel like things are definitely turning around if they haven't you guys will be reaching out to each other soon okay um we have some fast action taking place, um, you know, some quick communication coming in. And then we have the King of Wands. So this is someone who is about their business as well. But they do, they take care of those who they love. Um, they take care of of serious matters they take care of who they want in their life okay but i i really feel that um this is a great chance to you know start something with this person so if it hasn't came in already i feel like one or both of you are really considering reaching out to each other, um, ready to put in the work and take action and get this new beginning started. I do have all of the elements here on the on my spread. So you guys could be dealing with anyone, but I do have Gemini and Cancer and Aries strongly, okay? So I feel like this will be a very solid, big, you know, renewal. I do feel like there's nothing too bad that could have really just like killed this relationship. And I feel like you're it's going to be successful, okay? It's going to be successful after this break, okay? So let's go ahead and... But of course, the choice is yours, Aquarius. Only you know for your specific situation, you know, what you two went through. You know, I try to keep it general and not say any specific one reason why it didn't work out because then I'm alienating, alienating people. Okay, so what do my romance angels have for my Aquarius's highest good and clarity in love for the month of November? What messages do we have for our lovely Aquarius's in love for the month of November? Love messages, angels, what would you like? What positive messages would you like to bestow upon my lovely Aquarius's? I did see passion there though. Passion did fly out, so I know there's passion. And that's why you guys are not willing to give up. And this time, when you do start it, when you do 
decide to come out of this, it's going to be a more stable effort this time. I feel strongly that there was just so much love there. And you guys took your time to just really consider, you know, what changes you have to make, you know, what needs to be done during this break. So the break did you guys good. Just, just the romance grew stagnant. Okay, come on, angels. Give me some messages. Maybe I should have took the four. Oh, okay. Chemistry. Let your friends help you. So there's a strong magnetic, magnetic attraction here. And that's why you guys are willing to come back to each other like magnets. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So sometimes, um, you know, friends can offer you advice and be the, the support that you need you know, during these breaks. True friends do. One more card, please. One more card. Too many. More card, please. Oh. It is safe for you to love. Okay. Open your heart and give to give and receive the highest energy of all. So chemistry, you guys are attracted to each other. Um, let your friends help you and it's safe for you to love. And I feel like this relationship is safe. I don't get any really bad um, energy on this relationship. I feel like you guys really put the break to good use. And that's really what breaks are for. N not everyone can get out of a break. But sometimes if you love something, you need to let it go and set it free. And what do they say? If it comes back to you, it's yours. It was meant to be. So romance angels. What did I say romance angels? Whispers of love deck. So my angels, what love messages would you like my Aquariuses to know for their highest good and clarity and love for the month of November? What messages would you like my lovely Aquariuses to know for their highest good and clarity and love? This is hilarious. Okay. Rest and relaxation is essential and true love. We all have fundamental needs to take a break. See, you guys are on a break and you took your break. And you know this person's your true love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. There's so much chemistry there. It's safe for you to love. You know, whatever happened, you two have enough chemistry to get through this. And this time around, I feel like you guys pull um, victory and success, okay? All right, you guys. Um, if this resonated... Please like the video, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, um, information is down below. Best of luck to you and love, Aquariuses. Thank you so much.